All businesses is fixing problems and that's what we're doing right now. Yet a large challenge of a tree stump. This is gonna take us a little bit, of, I should say a lot of extra effort. Not what you wanna see to start the project, but we'll get there. Welcome back to our channel, everybody. Chris from Team Aquascape. Thanks so much for watching. Today, we are going to have a very fun one day project and we're gonna be doing a pondless waterfall in this gorgeous backyard setting. You guys ready to go? Let's do this. We are going to build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. So like I said, we are doing a pondless waterfall. This is the canvas for the day. We're gonna remove all these perennials, boxwoods, all this in through here. The only thing that's gonna stay is gonna be the red bud and the hydrangea over there. Pondless waterfall, twisting, turning, dropping into a reservoir right around here. We've got about seven and a half, eight tons of granite boulders, which you can see is already being dropped over there. So we're gonna remove all these perennials in through here. The only thing that's gonna stay is gonna be that hydrangea and that red bud. We'll repurpose all the perennials and boxwoods when we're done with the project as we work them into the landscape when the waterfall is complete. Big reason for this waterfall is to add some interest to this area. They've got an incredible screened in porch back behind me which leads out from their master bedroom. Then that door right there is their eat-in kitchen and then right there is their kitchen window. They also have this incredible party space back over here. We've got a multi-tiered patio coming out from the house. So we are going to try and capitalize on a lot of different views today so it'll be very interactive and we're gonna twist and turn this thing and make it look incredible. We've got about eight tons of granite that you can see Moose is already bringing over here. Here's our access for the day. We've got about three hoppers left. We're gonna be using this gorgeous granite provided by Illinois Brick out of Naperville, which is literally two minutes up the road. So can't wait to get this project started. Dan, Juan, so, and a few other certified aquascape contractors are en route to be a part of this project. So let's get started. All right, so plant removal is going quickly. We're gonna get all these boxwoods, perennials out of here. Just set them off to the side, get that machine back in here and start locating the reservoir and start digging. And then once we get that done, then we can start rocking in the basin area and we'll start building up into our stream and waterfalls. So there's the location of our six small aqua blocks. Waterfalls is gonna start somewhere right over there. Kind of drop this way, but I wanna get it to twist really hard coming this way, waterfall. And the waterfall will actually come in somewhere down here. So pump vault will probably be located either in this corner or this corner. Gonna kind of see how things with elevations and everything work out. We are also going to be digging in that first flush over there, running that drain tile, snaking it over this way and dumping it in somewhere high off of the, over the liner. And again, acting as mother nature's Autofill. So we're gonna get this dug, throw all that dirt back up in there. We also have additional dirt coming, so that'll be a huge help because it's only six small aqua blocks. We're gonna drop the top of the reservoir again, eight, 10 inches below existing grade down here to help with the elevation change from there to get the pitch or that gravity feed of that first fill. Alright, so we ran into a massive tree stump if you If we knew that something was here, we just didn't know how huge, but this thing's enormous. It's about a three foot diameter tree. We've got some enormous honey locust roots in through here. We're hoping we can get down and exposing a bunch of this root layer and get in here, but this is gonna take us definitely some extra time. So it is what it is. We will get this thing out of here. It's just gonna take us a little bit of, a little bit, I should say a lot of extra effort. Not what you wanna see to start the project, but we'll get there. Okay guys, ten girls men, women, and children alike. As Greg is famous for saying, all businesses is fixing problems, and that's what we're doing right now. Yet a large challenge of a tree stump located right back here where our reservoir is supposed to go. It's about, I mean, if I laid down, that's probably a six foot diameter tree trunk and root mass. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull off the project and leave DK, Jay, and Will from Memphis Water Gardens here. We're gonna rent a stump grinder, and we are gonna grind out that stump, get it so that we can get our reservoir in 
the way it's intended. So little hiccup, little to small hiccup on this project, but we are going to take a one day project and end up finishing it in two days. But sometimes you just have to do what you have to do in order to keep the project moving forward. So what we're gonna do is make lemonade out of these lemons and Juan, Mario, Alberto, and myself are gonna go start tackling some of those little fix it things that have accumulated on our schedule over the last few weeks. So we're gonna go take care of that. I'm gonna leave you with DK, Jay, and Will, and they're gonna go ahead and get this stump out. So thanks for watching, stay tuned, it's gonna be incredible. Let's go. nasty stump. Couldn't hear you. you got to come closer. That was a nasty stump. <laughs> tiny little stump. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, it was tiny. Well, it's out. At least it's out enough to where we can get our reservoir in. Holy smokes. All day on the stump grinder on the machine, Dan's been picking away at it. And as you can see, the stump went bye-bye. And tomorrow we have a good jumping off point to get our reservoir in. One little thing that was uncovered, looks like an old cast drain tile of some sort. I'm not sure if it's sewer or what it is, but we are going to leave that where it's at and we'll go ahead and get our reservoir in a accordingly and go around it. But all that dirt is going to come back this way. We'll pull out some of the mulch, but that chipper did what it had to do. Back over there and behind the red bud. But it pays to get the stump out today so that we can hit it hard tomorrow and hopefully finish this thing and make it look fantastic. And it'll look like the stump was never there and we were never here other than the brand new beautiful waterfalls that will be created. Can't wait. So keep following along. We're gonna do this thing right tomorrow. That's for sure. Till next time or till tomorrow. Bye. Yeah, you guessed it. We are back out here on this super Super cool project. We're just getting into digging out the pump vault. Our aqua box are gonna occupy this space in through here. Dan, as you saw yesterday or earlier in the video, got a majority of that stump out. Now all we're gonna do is get the reservoir in. We're gonna end up bringing in some heavy duty fabric. So digging down the pump vault, aqua box, occupy that space. We're gonna bring in some heavy duty fabric, then our liner, then some more fabric. Just for some of that insurance, we also are gonna put a layer of bedding sand down underneath the aqua box, underneath the liner, all that good stuff just to help make everything nice and soft what that'll also do is that'll allow the thing to drain a little bit too if we start putting in some of that loamy soil my fear is we're gonna have settling so i'm gonna have dan compact everything really really well with the machine that you can see he's doing it right now so he's gonna build all this up drive over you can see he's already done a great job hardening all this stuff up so he's gonna bring all this stuff over compact it really really well we are well on our way to building another palmas waterfall so let's do this again today We got liner going in. We ended up putting in some heavy duty underlayment. Go ahead and get this thing in. The 25 is gonna go that way. 15 will go this way. We're gonna angle it slightly just to make sure that we can get enough twists and turns. Move that bucket, Dan. We gotta run that liner this way. All right, so you recognize that butt anywhere. I know you do. Guess who I'm working with today? Okay. Jack, set that rock. So the fun part is, all right, so you gotta twist it. There you go. Oh, no, too much. Let's just see. Okay, hold it. Bring it, uh, what's throwing me off is that rock that's on top of that rock. I just need to be able to see the joints of that. All right, so good. Spin it a little bit more, please. Of stuff happening over here. Jack is foaming back behind the waterfalls. You've got Frank over here just trimming off some of that excess fabric. What we want to do is we want to fill all these little void spaces in through here. That way we limit the amount of water that's leaking back behind these boulders because we want it to fall over this rock right there. That's our spill stone. So when we're doing this, we want to make sure that we fill all these little cavities in through here. That way that water will shed over the top of this stone here. So we'll have to foam all of this 
this. A lot of times what we'll do in order to conserve on foam, we'll cut back this fabric, fill all of this with gravel in through here, and then foam over the top of the gravel and then lay a bib liner down. That way we're not filling this entire cavity with foam because that can get very expensive very quickly. Also, what needs to happen too is when he foams this, what will happen is if we don't have anything under the liner and this is all packed well, what'll happen is when water occupies this, it'll start pushing down the liner because of the weight of the water and the gravel and this will actually break that seal. So we wanna make sure that we get everything nice and compacted in through here as much as we can and then go ahead and foam everything up. progress I love how it's turning out we're just gonna end it with two waterfalls we've got one pinch down between these two rocks there that'll fall this way swirl in that little pool and then kind of work its way down through here fall from that blue rock there down into the basin and then work its way back this way I love the big rock it's gonna look so awesome once we start getting some other stones in there but what's neat about it is it doesn't feel overwhelming it literally fits topography in through there so it just really really looks great I love how the dirt just fans back it just makes it look so much more natural when we can get so much dirt around it so that it doesn't ever look volcanic we are going to bury the spillway back up in there so it just looks like a big upper pool so really really pleased with how it's going so far all of that liner back there will be excess so nothing happening back over there just love how it's turning out and now it's let's We're starting to do our uh, finishing touches. We have one crew working from the basin, working our way up. And then we have some uh, good stuff happening up here. Yeah. So right now the guys are putting in our spillway. This We're only gonna do two waterfalls in this waterfall, or in this palace waterfall, considering that our height for the berm does not line up to have three. It would just look too volcanic. We don't want that. So we have this spillway in here. And what we normally do is that we sink it down below waterline. That way it shoots out and then it has time to well up. And that way it looks like a spring fed and not just a rush of water coming out on top of the waterfall. So we're gonna set a rock up on top of that spillway another rock where dan's working at right now and then possibly a third one over there and i'll be able to get the machine out here and move all this dirt and we are going to be in good shape it's only just after one o'clock so we're making really good progress for the day and hopefully it continues on so we don't have that much left to do just a lot of detail and miscellaneous things cruising right along and I love it. It looks freaking awesome. I can't wait to show you guys. Right now, plants are going back in. As you can see, Jack, the rest of the guys from Memphis Water Gardens are gonna starting to go ahead and get the rest of the plants in that we can. We've occupied a lot of this space, so not all of them will go back, but we're gonna do our best to make this thing look incredible using the plants that we have. We'll end up using a lot of that creeping spurge and that kind of stuff along the edges. Just to green stuff up, because you know, I love it when you can't tell where the land stops and the water begins on our water features so it's really the goal is to make it look like it's always been here so being able to repurpose a lot of the softscape and plants back into the landscape is really going to help this thing come to life up there rinsing off the rocks watering the plants in and it turned out absolutely incredible we overfilled it a little we forgot the hose was running as we were doing edges but check out that waterfalls it looks awesome such a cool project huge shout out to memphis water gardens huge shout out to dk especially for grinding that stump out putting in the extra effort but also juan and jack pazinski that were out here couldn't have done it without team aquascape as well as the gang from memphis water gardens we absolutely love this project the customer couldn't be more thrilled and thanks so much for watching if you have any questions please feel free to let us know in the comments below as always give us a thumbs up and then if you're not already subscribed to our channel please do so and stay in touch come back every tuesday thursday and sunday 9 a.m central standard time for all the fresh aquascape content that we are coming out with weekly thanks everybody talk to you soon yeah.